In Australia, we got birds. Big and small, we got them all. Specifically, six of the largest birds in Australia. Firstly, the wedge-tailed eagle. Apart from the bird's brown feathers, white claws and beak, it has an impressive wingspan over 2 meters long. And the wedge-tailed eagle eats a variety of rabbits. Sorry, mostly rabbits. Uh -oh. Also on its menu is other small mammals, reptiles and carrion. And yet, these birds aren't all that bad. In fact, these birds may for life. And now for the glossy ibis. The bird's Latin name means scythe or sickle. It's also known as the black curly. The glossy ibis is the smallest known ibis in Australia and looks very similar to the white ibis. They're everywhere. Fine. It breathes, it changes colour. Imagine that. The facial skin turns pale blue when courting a lady. The tail, upper parts, head, and wings acquire a purple green sheen, and fades to dark purple after the courting period. If you cannot picture it, imagine every male puts on makeup all over their body when they want to get a lady, and changes that makeup two to three times during that process. Being a tactile forager, it manages to devour freshwater snails, mussels, crabs, and crayfish. The species will also, however, eat fish, frogs, and tadpoles, dry land invertebrates like beetles and grasshoppers, nestling birds, lizards and small snakes. And apart from sitting in trees and shrubs, when they breed or forage, they are seen in freshwater marshes at the edge of the lagoons, when meadows, etc. The species of bird is also occasionally found around coastal areas. The Brolga. Since the Brolga is a crane, it does something called the courting dance. As the term suggests, they dance to get all the girls. This bird is also confused with another species of bird called the Saris, another Australian crane. What's the difference? Find out yourself, you lazy. The Brolga, also known as the Australian crane, a term toyed with by ornithological artist John Gold, is known as the official bird emblem of the state of Queensland. And since the bird lives in water, it has a similar type to the glossy iris. Again, like the glossy iris, is the Brolga lives in water-based areas, but it lives in north to northeast Queensland, and it's also found in Victoria, southern New Guinea, north of Western Australia, and New Zealand. This time, it's the Jabiru. Unlike most birds, this one doesn't like photobombing. In fact, it hides, and it's very good at it. Can you see it? It is. So very little footage was obtained when seeing this bird, but from what we can see, it has long legs, white feathers with the exception of black wings, and a blue head. Because of its appearance, it's also known as the black neck stork. The female jabiru has bright yellow eyes, whereas the males have dark brown to black coloured eyes. But before they're adults, they have the same dark brown coloured eyes, so no one can tell whether they're male or female until they're adults. This bird eats a variety of dishes, seafood, fish and crabs, meat lovers, reptiles and rodents, fancy food, the frogs, and corpses. Wait, what? Like other storks, this one is also a water dweller. To be more specific, they live in pools in the open forest, freshwater marshes and wetlands, lakes, large rivers and mangroves. Bird number five is the bush turkey. For those who know this bird, you know that it's everywhere in the east coast. They are mostly covered in black feathers, it's also a red head, and has a yellow wattle around its throat between red and black. And apparently, they can become tame around hunts and picnic areas if they're given food. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what's this? Don't give them food. From society? A stupid letter. They also like to build a mountain of leaves and twigs, which is supposedly their nest, and bury their eggs in them. Isn't that nice? This means, once they hatch, they must dig themselves out of their nest, and when they do, they are actually really good. They can fend for themselves immediately, and have a full set of feathers straight away, and can fly after a few hours. 
These birds have a rather healthy diet, fallen fruits that could be rotten, seeds that seem harmless, and insects. Of course, it had to be freaking insects. Finally, the emu. This bird is the largest standard bird in Australia. It has matted grey feathers, long shark claws, and is frightening, hilarious, and sometimes cute enough to be on popular YouTube videos. The emu has the quickest growth spur compared to every other bird and probably every other living creature in the animal kingdom. They are almost fully grown in one year and can breed at 20 months. If you cannot imagine that well, then try imagining a human being being able to be fully grown at age 4. Yup. As other birds are, they eat fruit, seeds, other small animals, and insects. They also eat plant shoots and animal droppings? Seriously, they have to eat bloomin' animal droppings. What the freak? And there you have it. Seven cool looking, but really strange birds that live in Australia. Sure, why not come by and see for yourself? You may never know.